Hey guys, let's do our quiz review for inequality. So we're solving one step and multi-step inequalities, and we have a bunch of different situations that we're going to be taking a look at. So first off, number one, solve the inequality. So the first problem is just 5 plus x is less than negative 3.6. We solve inequalities the same way we solve equations. So to get x by itself here, I would simply subtract 5 on both sides, minus 5, minus 5 cross out my fives, I bring down x, I bring down my less than, negative 3.6 minus 5 is negative 8.6, and so that is my answer. I'm going to make sure I pick x is less than negative 8.6. Notice the other answer has greater than. We don't want to pick the wrong one. Number two, solve this next inequality. So 12 plus 5y is greater than 67. So I look at this just like I would look at an equation. What do I have on both sides? I have numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the number that's on the same side as my variable, which means I'm going to go ahead and start by subtracting 12. I then bring down what I have left. 5y is greater than 67 minus 12 is 55. Then my last step, I go ahead and I divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself, and we get y is greater than 11. So again, just like we solved an, an equation, we solve the inequality using those same steps. Next one, number three, a number x subtracted by four. Okay, so a number x subtracted by four is greater than or equal to negative five. Okay, to get x by itself, I have to get rid of this negative four, so I'm gonna go ahead and add four on both sides of this inequality. And again, it's so important to draw your bar, cross out the fours, bring down everything the way you have it, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Easy problem. Number 4, solve the inequality. So the next one is 3x minus 8 is greater than 6x plus 4. In this inequality, I notice I have numbers and variables on both sides. So technically, I could start this off however I want. Let's say I decided to subtract 3x on both sides, perhaps, minus 3x minus 3x. I now am left with negative 8 is greater than 3x plus 4. Then I would say to myself, okay, I have numbers on both sides. I need to get rid of the number that's on the same side as my variable, which means I need to get rid of this positive 4. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 on both sides. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. So negative 12 is greater than 3x. I then need to get x by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So I end up getting negative 4 is greater than x. But we do want the variable to be first. So instead of saying negative 4 is greater than x, the reverse statement is that that means x is less than negative 4. And so I need to make sure I select the one that says x is less than negative 4. Number 5. Okay, so number 5 says 3x minus 9 all divided by 4 is less than or equal to negative 6. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this inequality by 4, right? Because I see the entire left-hand side of this inequality is a fraction, which means to divide. So we undo that by multiplying. I'm now left with 3x minus 9 is less than or equal to negative 24. I now ask myself, what do I have on both sides? I have numbers. I get rid of the number that's on the same side as my variable. So I have to get rid of my negative 9 by adding 9. So now we're left with 3x is less than or equal to negative 15. Divide both sides by 3, and we get x is less than or equal to negative 5. All right, number 6. Number 6. So this has a bunch of distributing and combining like terms. So 4 times 3 minus x plus 1 is greater than 5 times 2 minus 4x plus 7. All right, so I need to first start distributing. So 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. Bring down the plus 1. Bring down greater than. Let's distribute the 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times negative 4x is negative 20x. Bring down the plus 7. Before I start adding or subtracting things on both sides, let me go ahead and combine my like terms. So 12 plus 1 is 13. So this is really negative 4x plus 13 is greater than 10 and 7 is 17. So this is really negative 20x plus 17. Now because, again, you have numbers and variables on both sides, you can start this inequality in four different ways. Um, for me, I might add 20x on both sides. 
and say, okay, I'm going to do that first. Negative 4x plus 20x is 16x plus 13 is greater than 17. All right, so now I look at this and I say, oh, I have numbers on both sides. Let me get rid of the 13 because it's on the same side as my x. Minus 13, minus 13. So now I'm left with 16x is greater than 4. Last step, get x by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 16. Divide by 16. And we end up with x is greater than 4 sixteenths is really just 1 fourth. So my answer is x is greater than 1 fourth. Number seven. Now, when I look at number seven's answer choices, they're kind of interesting because we've got all real numbers and no solution. So remember, whenever that's the case, we have to ask ourselves, like, do I have a true statement or not? If that's going to be what happens here. All right. So first thing I say I need to do is distribute. All right. So six times y is six y. Six times two is 12. Bring down my minus one is greater than or equal to six y minus eight. All right, I see I have like terms here. So this is really 6y plus 11 is greater than or equal to 6y minus 8. I notice I have the same 6y on both sides of this inequality. So look what happens. If I want to subtract 6y on both sides, I have no more variables. Like they are gone, and I'm just left with 11 is greater than or equal to negative 8. When the variables are gone, you always have to ask yourself, is it true or false? Is 11 greater than or equal to negative 8? That is definitely true. It's totally greater. When it's true, that means our solution is all real numbers. Now, had it said, is 11 less than or equal to negative 8? You would say, well, that's not true. And if it's not true, that's when it's no solution. Number eight, which inequality symbol means at least? So I tell my students, when you think of at least, you have to think about money or grades. We often say, hey, I need at least 10 bucks. And if you were to say, I need at least 10 bucks, that would mean that you want 10 or more. If you say, I need to get at least a 90 on this quiz, well, that means you want a 90 or higher. So at least means equal or greater, greater than or equal. So at least is my greater than or equal to symbol. All right, number nine, um, negative 4x is less than 16. So one of the special, special rules with working with inequalities and solving them is that if you multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality symbol needs to be reversed. It needs to be switched. So if I go ahead and I divide both sides by negative 4, what I need to do is bring down my x, but I need to take this less than symbol and switch it to become a greater than symbol you switch the, sec the um, symbol, okay? <clears throat> that is really important. Now, my answer here is x is greater than negative four, and I just wanna show you why we flip the symbol. If I said to you, give me a number that's greater than negative four, you could be like, oh, two. Let's say x equaled two. If I plug in a two there, what's negative four times two? It's negative eight. Is negative eight less than 16? Yes, totally, it is. But let's say for a moment that I didn't flip the symbol. And let's say I was like, oh, no, the answer is x is less than negative 4. Well, give me a number that's less than negative 4. Maybe x is equal to negative 5. Well, look what happens here if I plug in a negative 5. What's negative 4 times negative 5? It's positive 20. Is 20 less than 16? No. So I actually don't get a true statement there. So it's a special rule that we have to follow that when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, you do have to take that symbol and flip it, okay? So that's gonna be something we're gonna see again and again. Number 10, <clears throat> negative 15, these are my favorite problems. Negative 15 is greater than negative 5x. So first off, I see, oh, I need to get x by itself. I need to divide both sides by negative five. So divide by negative five. When I do that, bring everything down where it is, but I do need to flip my inequality symbol. So my greater than symbol becomes less than. But in inequalities, we need the variable to be first in our final answer. So instead of saying three is less than X, my final answer is then X is greater than three. So I love that problem because it involves both situations where we're going to reverse the symbol. One, because we divided by a negative, and the second reason for just restating it so the variable is first. Number 11, select the inequalities that have a solution of x is greater than 4. Select all that apply. All right, so first one, 5x is greater than 20. If I divide both sides by 5, 
I get X is greater than four. Okay, that's easy. Um, next one, 0 0.5 X is greater than two. Well, if I, 0 0.5, I could either show that I'm dividing by 0 0.5 or think about it, 0 0.5 is really one half. And if you wanna multiply by the reciprocal, it's like multiplying by two. So if I just multiply both sides of this inequality by two, two times a half is just one and I'm left with X is greater than four. So that one's also good. Next one, negative three X is greater than negative 12. Okay, well, when we divide by a negative, we do have to flip the symbol. So this would become X is less than four. So it's close, but it's not exactly what I need it to be. Um, next one, six X is greater than negative 24. If I divide both sides by six, I do get x is greater than, but it would be negative four, so that's no good. And then my last one, negative eight x is less than negative 32. If I divide both sides by negative eight, I do have to flip my symbol. So this one would be x is greater than, and negative 32 divided by negative eight is positive four. So that one does check out. The rest of the problems, we do have to type our answer in. Um, so I'm gonna type that in very carefully with you. Uh, so first one, number 12, 8 plus x is greater than negative 11. To get x by itself, I would subtract 8 on both sides. That way I get x is greater than negative 19. And so that's what I'm going to just simply type in here. x is greater than negative 19. So number 13, negative 5x is greater than 20. All right, well, I need to divide by a negative 5. We just talked about that special rule. Hey, when you divide by a negative, the symbol flips. So it's not going to be x is greater. This one would be x is less than. And 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. So x is less than negative 4. Number 14, 6x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 19. So first thing I need to do is subtract 1 on both sides. I end up getting 6x is greater than or equal to 18. Divide both sides by 6, and I get x is greater than or equal to 3. So here I'm going to type in x is greater than or equal to 3. Number 15. All right, so in number 15, I have 5, and then in parentheses, x minus 6 is less than or equal to 6x. First thing I need to do is distribute, so 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Bring down is less than or equal to 6x. I do see I have x's on both sides, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract my 5x on both sides. So now I'm left with negative 30 is less than or equal to x, but we do need the variable first. So instead of saying negative 30 is less than or equal to x, it's really x is greater than or equal to negative 30. Number 16, number 16, 8x minus 4 is less than 8x minus 9. Now, a big giveaway that this is one of our special cases is when you see the variables are the same on both sides. So here, if I was like, hey, I'm going to subtract 8x on both sides, I have no more variables. I have to look carefully at what I'm left with. I have to ask myself, is negative 4 less than negative 9? Is it? No, negative 4 is greater than negative 9. It's not true. So if it's not true, that's when we say the answer is no solution. All right, number 17. So I have 3 times 6x minus 1 minus 8 is less than 2 times 10x plus 8 plus 7. Ooh, that got a little sloppy there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and distribute. So 3 times 6x is 18x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Bring down my minus 8 is less than 2 times 10x is 20x. And then 2 times 8 is 16. Bring down my plus 7. Now before I start adding or subtracting anything, I notice I have to combine like terms on both sides. So this is really now 18x minus 11 is less than 20x plus 23. I can start this inequality any way I want because I have numbers and variables on both sides. Let's say I was to subtract 18x on both sides. I would then be left with negative 11 is less than 2x plus 23. 
I would then go ahead and subtract 23 on both sides. And so if I do that part, negative 11 minus 23 is negative 34 is less than 2x. Last step, divide both sides by 2. I get negative 17 is less than x. But we do want the variable to be first. So instead of saying negative 17 is less than x, I say x is greater than negative 17. X is greater than negative 17. Awesome. Number 18. Oh, another special case because I see the same variables on both sides. 5x plus 9 is greater than 5x minus 7. If I subtract 5x on both sides, minus 5x minus 5x, look what I'm left with. 9 is greater than negative 7. Is that true? Is 9 greater than negative 7? It definitely is. So we say the answer is all real numbers. Two more to go. Number 19. So it says P minus 7 is greater than negative 7. I have numbers on both sides. Let me go ahead and get rid of this negative 7 by adding 7. Now this is a silly problem. It's important though to make sure that negative 7 plus 7 is just 0. I don't put 0 when I simplify them out next to the variable because the whole point is to get the variable by itself. But hey, if there's a number at the end, it's zero. I don't want you to think that if you get zero, you did something wrong or that's impossible. We would definitely have the inequality of P, P is greater than zero. And the last one, 7x minus 9 is uh, less than 8x. I see I have variables on both sides. Let me go ahead and subtract 7x on both sides. Bring down what you have left. So now I have negative 9 is less than x. But if negative 9 is less than x, then that means x is greater than negative 9. x is greater than negative 9. Good luck on your quiz. I hope you do great. Bye.